Hi, folks. Well, hell. I didn't even need to do that, but I guess I did. I had this little tripod with a Bluetooth remote. My finger must have hit it. So here we go with the video on this channel. I don't care about the smoking. I don't want to hear about it. If it offends you or you think it's bad for your health, it's your business. Go screw yourself. Um, today we're going to talk about two of the biggest offenders for providing bad information and or misleading information. So yesterday, I'm trying to order a product from Amazon. And, right, and last night, I, to be perfectly honest, I was so angry with that. that I was about to drop them. You don't never do business with them again. And I thought about it. And this is where I get my products for high end cheap tech, the other site, uh, you know, through the sellers. So I didn't want to harm those sellers and the people I'm doing reviews for. And I didn't want to quit getting gift cards. So I had a gift card. I had a company that wanted me to test a gaming headset way out of my wheelhouse I've never understood gamers but that's okay so I had three hours to order it so I go order it it automatically applies my gift card balance and I have five dollars and forty one cents left and it just sits there you know my pending I use a net spend card security reasons that way you put as much money on there as you need to spend but they're not going to get your Visa or MasterCard real account or your bank account for that matter. So, all that being said, somewhere in that process, I got a confirmation. But the $5.41 left over after I ordered it was still sitting in pending, and all of a sudden, I got an instantaneous charge from Amazon of the full amount. Oh my. You charged me twice? So it took me hours to deal with this issue. And by then, yeah. Now, I don't have something to test this weekend. Because I could have had it tomorrow, but now I gotta wait till Monday night. Then I'll get off work. I'd much rather sit around tomorrow morning testing a new product. Yeah, especially something out of my wheelhouse. Uh, yeah, I'm not a gamer kind of guy. I have one game that'll run on my little miniature cell around desktop PC. Uh, Modern Battlefield 5. And I wasn't, you know, I'm not particularly enthused about RGB lighting. I don't give a good goddamn. I don't understand the uh, reasoning behind pretty lights when you're not in the same room with the people you're playing against. Just me. Just me. You know, not a gamer. Don't blame me. So, Amazon had charged me twice. So I go over to Netspin to see what the hell's going on. The people I get the card from, where I put the money on, just enough. And I should have had plenty to pay AT&T. And I noticed I still have $35 in there. I was like, yeah. We started with 60. And now we're down to this. Uh, what the hell? I intended to have about 20 bucks left over. I am going to get reimbursed for the product by the seller. Uh, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All the people I deal with. Get two or three emails 
people leave me accept the challenge of testing their products basically saying you're not going to get final approval here honesty you know most of them are chinese oh sure they have an american name and the product will be shipped out of an american warehouse but they're all chinese and you know the chinese have no moral ethics or anything about screwing people over so i'm like if you send me crap you're gonna get a crap review I got a reputation, and that's just the way it works. Apparently, Amazon doesn't give a shit about their reputation. So, first off, it takes a good hour for me poking around on Amazon to figure out how to get to a point where I can go into a chat area and say, complain. I mean, I canceled the orders immediately, but yet... There's that charge still sitting on my account. I mount the whole price plus that 541 that was left over after the gift card. Oh my god. Yeah. I just want to reorder this. No, that wasn't going to happen. I call, or tried to call. I had to go and I found by accident customer support and then they have a chat thingy and it's a machine again no humans yet and it'll finally ask you when you get to a certain point do you want to talk to a human being and they will call you they will not leave you a phone number to call them. and of course that's immediately answered by somebody who's not obviously not you know, they're, they'll say their name, and you're like, yeah, yeah, really, that's not your name. That's a Filipino accent. If I ever heard it, or Indonesian, or whatever, yeah. Uh, God, they won't even hire American employees at a call center. And, of course, then I unload on the poor girl at the call center. And I worked at a call center. I was a health insurance agent for Medicare. During that season of the year and the rest of the time, I worked for Blue Cross. And I dealt with claims and explaining policies to people and what was covered, what wasn't under their policy. And, of course, nobody calls you up because they're happy. So, all that being said, Amazon is the king of deceptive marketing. So... The first thing I'm going to do here before I get to what they do um, is to tell you if you really want to deal with a company and get some tech stuff and if they have it, check them first. Go to walmart.com. I used to work for Walmart for a few years and Sam Walton had one theory and everyone is trained in this who works there. The only person in that store that counts is the customer you're talking to. You don't count. The manager doesn't count. Policy doesn't count. If that person is ticked off when they leave, you've lost a customer. Amazon don't give a shit. They're the second largest retailer in the world. And that's only dollar-wise. Customer service-wise, they suck. Absolutely suck. Horrible. They hide their customer service. And then when you go to their website and you look for something, let's say you're looking for a set of these uh, Bluetooth wireless headphones like I was. And... I put that in, and right at the top are all the expensive ones, of course. Sponsored things, yeah, of course. No different than doing a Google search in there for stuff. So, you know, people paying are on top. And then they got, you know, a little tray on the right side here, over here. And uh, guess what? It's over here, actually. 
uh, you click off, I want, say, $50 and under. You click that, it reloads, and you still get the $300 shit at the top. Did I ask for that? No, I didn't. But they'll do it to you. Because they know most people are too stupid to go over and click on the sort price low to high. And then you won't see that crap. But you will see a bunch of crap that has nothing to do with, oh, where the head case covers. And <laughs> Jesus. Okay, get me up to the actual wireless headsets. And every page you go through, they'll suggest... Oh, you might be interested in this. Deceptive business practices. That's what they're involved with. And these companies, you know, right now they've got $19.07 of my money still. I have to stay up all night and make sure I get over to the local store and reload my card and order it so I can at least get it Monday. No refund just yet. I had to file a disputed charge with NetSpan. So while I'm on the phone with NetSpan, of course, I learn that AT&T, which gives me $5 off my plan, wonderful, because I have auto pay. Eight months in a row, it hasn't worked. Eight. You know why? If you read their terms and conditions for auto pay, they say they will take the money out up to 24 hours in advance. So my plan ends tonight at midnight Pacific time on the 19th. On the 18th, I'm listening to all these transactions on that spend, you know, dealing with the computer because their customer service doesn't work at night. Yeah, uh, they tried to charge my account at 5.41 a.m. yesterday. Explain to me how that is 24 hours before. 24 hours is bad enough. What that means is they get to sit on your money. An extra 24 hours earning interest. Without giving you a thing in return. That's a deceptive business practice. In this case, 5.41 a.m. ain't nowhere near 24 hours in advance. I'm thinking, well, I get paid. I have a very small budget. I'll put the money on the account around noon. We'll be good to go. And here's the other thing they'll do. Well, you could just add to your you know, balance online. Oh, yeah, you do that? I've done that. I've got suckered in by that. I, oh. They took that money, and then they took the money out of my card account. And they're like, oh, you got two months now. It's like, I didn't want two months. I pay a month at a time. That's the reason I do prepaid, to keep it cheap. I don't get paid crap right now. When I hit 65, I'll get my pension, and... And all that. I'll be doing just dandy. Right now, I, I'm pretty much broke all the time. I'm lucky I can order stuff. I can set you know, a few dollars aside. <sighs> These companies, both of them, and all companies that pull this crap, should get fined by the Federal Trade Commission. That money should not go to the government, of course. When you find them, you demand instant payment or that they shut down operations immediately. If they don't have the cash on hand, what the hell are they doing, though? Yeah, exactly. They've got the cash on hand. You find them a minimum for doing these things of $100 billion. Not a hundred million, not thirty million, and you give that money to the American taxpayers. You, 
you go to the IRS and you ask, who filed a tax return last year? Oh, we have 130 million people. All the others are sitting on their ass getting handouts from the government. Okay. Let's just divide this 100 billion up and send everyone a check. Thank you. That's what you do. Don't give it to an idiot politician. They'll blow it. Uh, and so... That's just my take. So if you're going to buy tech, check walmart.com first. I don't get paid anything walmart.com, which is why this video is over here. I don't want to piss Amazon off too bad. I thought I will never see this. Uh, and check out high and cheap tech. Uh, there will not be a link in the description below. I'm not even going to bother with that. And uh, don't deal with either of these companies if you can avoid it. Thanks for watching. We gotta quit finding these companies like 30 million. Oh, we find them 30 million dollars. It's like, wow. It's like me getting pulled over for going a thousand miles an hour in a school zone running over 14 kids and you going, it'll cost you a nickel. No. A hundred billion will get their attention and take their CEOs and throw their ass in love and worth immediately without a trial with a guy named Bubba. Let's we'll see how that would play out. This crap wouldn't happen anymore, would it? Thanks for watching. Later.